This short video introduces the concept of globalization as well as the relationship with air transport. Most of the information for this report has been taken from one report which is the impact of globalization on international transport activity written by Ken Button, which presents air transport as a major industry, the socioeconomic dimension of air transport with focus on the international commercial aviation. One way to see globalization is how people from different points in the world get closer together, get more unified into a single society. This is from different points of view. This is from the economical point of view, from the technological point of view, from the sociocultural point of view, and from the political point of view. Here, we will be mainly looking at this, economic. So when we look at globalization from the economical point of view, we see how the different nations have a greater integration of their economies. But this integration comes from different dimensions. It comes from the spread of technology, it comes from migration, people want to work to other countries, to trade, by exchanging goods and services between countries, and by investing in other countries. It's important to differentiate between globalization and inter internationalization. The first one refers to delete the borders between countries. One example is the EU, where those borders have been deleted when it comes to free trade of uh, staff, exchange of goods, as well as acting as a single market for the air transport sector. The second part contract refers not to deleting the borders, but to increase the trade between those countries. And one example of a tool to develop those relations have been the World Trade Organization. In globalization, we can differentiate three main phases, which call 1.0, 2.0, and 3.0. The main drivers of globalization 1.0 were countries and governments. An example of those periods were when United Nations was created or within the air transport, IATA was created. So those international organizations were the main drivers. In the 2.0, Multinational companies were the main driver of, the, of globalization. Here we can think on international companies coming from the US to different other countries, such as IBM or General Motors as a car company. It meant that by having General Motors in the US and some other countries, someone in America as well as somewhere in Europe, for instance, could drive the same car. The third phase called 3.0, the main driver are the PC area and the internet, basically the internet. And one example of this area is what is happening at the moment while you are listening to this video. This video was created in Istanbul, was recorded in Istanbul, but was uploaded into YouTube, which is a platform where the video will be stored somewhere in the US, in California and then you are listening from any point in the world. When it comes to book a ticket, you use normally the internet, no matter which airline worldwide you are using. Now, if we look at the relationship between globalization and air transport, we see that globalization and air transport are giving and receiving with each other. For instance, air transport is receiving technology from this globalization process and is used by improving the air traffic management system or the navigation system of their aircraft. But this technology is used also to develop tools and booking engines which allow you to book the ticket of an airline from your house. Air transport is also 
giving and contributing to globalization, for instance, when it comes to tourism and trade. In the case of tourism, about 51% of international passengers, they use air transport to uh, go to their destinations. In the case of trade, one third of the value of worldwide trade is being transported by uh, planes. So, so we see here a clear contribution of the air transport sector into globalization. And globalization in air transport had different effects. One, for instance, is lower fares. And here I want to describe one example. When the US and Europe make the uh, Open Sky Agreement, means that there are more competition. So there are certain efficiencies in the system which lead to lower cost, and at the end, to lower fares. So in this case, we see the contribution of globalization and transport on lower fares. But globalization and transport also have some implication on demand, on how many people uh, is willing to travel by air. We saw that globalization leads to an increase in trade. It means to have more export and imports among countries. Well, this increase in airport and, ex and imports create that the local economy increases. And as the domestic economy increases, money has, uh, sorry, people has more money in their pockets, which means that increase in demand. So people, uh, more people are gonna travel by air. One of the consequences of globalization has been migration. And often from developing countries into higher economies. One example is between Turkey and Germany. Another one uh, in America could be between Mexico and the US. In the past, those migrations were long term. So people went to those countries for a long time. But in the most recent times, this migration is more temporary and it's cyclical. When the economy is going well, then people go there. And when the economy gets bad, goes, goes back to their own country or goes to another location. So in the past, very often, those people in Germany were coming back to Turkey by car. Same in the US to Mexico. But as flight ticket has been cheaper, many of those people have moved to the aircraft to go from one place to the other. So we see that the labor migration has produced an increase in, in uh, air transport. And this air transport also has helped to develop actual migration. So we can see that globalization, air transport and migration are closely related. When we look at globalization and air transport in the future, Asia will be the largest market in a very short uh, time. And within Asia, China and India will be one of the largest markets in the world. As a conclusion, we can say that the 21st century globalization and interna internationalization will be very relevant. We can say that globalization increase demand of air transport. And last but not least, that air transport is a major contribution of globalization. Thank you very much.